Brooklyn Independent Television. Major changes are coming to the F train this month to make way for a rehabilitation project of the Smith and 9th Street station here in Brooklyn. The project aims to make for a faster, safer commute, but the multiple station closures have some passengers a little rattled. Lauren Moraski has the story. The people you see here at the Smith 9th Street station won't be waiting for a train at this platform come January 17th. That's when the long-anticipated Culver Viaduct Rehabilitation Project will start. But what does it mean for commuters? The F train's not going to go to Manhattan? Are you serious? Well, let me clarify. Through May of this year, there will be no Manhattan-bound F and G service at Smith 9th Streets, 15th Street Prospect Park, and Fort Hamilton Parkway stations. Then, in future phases of the project, Smith 9th Streets will be closed completely through spring 2012. And in the interim, the G train will stop at a temporary platform. Got it? Well, not everyone does, yet. What's your alternative plan? Uh, I guess somehow get to Carroll Street and take the train from there. I hope they have like shuttle buses or something. Nope, there won't be shuttle buses. Subway riders will have to walk to a farther stop or backtrack to catch their train. It's going to really complicate the commute to Red Hook significantly. It's going to add a lot of time. And we have very poor bus service now. So we've, you know, the collapsing of the 61 and 77 into one line has already made travel difficult. Now, the, the removal of this station, you know, we, take, we get it harder than most people. How will that affect your commute? That's going to be pretty substantial. Um, I mean, sometimes I take the B61 instead of taking the F from this station, but um, the F train not coming to Red Hook, is, that's, that's like we don't have any other way to get to New York. MTA spokesperson Deirdre Parker told me that they apologize for inconveniencing customers, but the structure built in 1933 is crumbling and definitely needs to be replaced. I mean, there's no doubt this needs to be done. You can just look around the station here and you'll see there's holes in the ceilings, there's paint peeling all over the place. But even from a non-cosmetic standpoint, the viaduct itself has been wrapped in protective sheathing for a whole bunch of years right now. They've had to close the playground that was underneath the bridge just because they don't know how secure it is and they're concerned that pieces are going to fall or that the structure is going to start to show some signs of sagging. So this is a very, very necessary project. Once the $32 million project at this station is completed, there'll be new platforms, new canopies, as well as a new escalator enclosure. You know, I think from the people that I've talked to, everybody recognizes that this is a very important project. They know that the viaduct's not in very good shape. They see that the station's bad. Um, there are a good number of people who seem surprised by the project, um, which to me is a little bit shocking because the MTA has been talking about this since 2007. They've had renderings out there for a long time. They've talked to community groups. Um, you know, people should have known that this is happening, and I guess some people have a valid complaint that the MTA didn't hang up signs about the station closures until this week. Well, New Yorkers have endured blizzards, blackouts, MTA strikes, and much worse. I guess once we get into the flow, we'll get used to it. To find out how the $275 million project might affect your commute, go to www.mta.info or call 718-330-1234. For Brooklyn Review, I'm Lauren Moraski. Download this program's podcast on iTunes, keywords Brooklyn Independent Television.